In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to cancel a GitHub Copilot subscription. Whether you're planning to take a break from coding or simply decided it's not the right tool for you, I'll guide you through the simple steps to ensure your membership is canceled correctly. To begin, let's navigate our way to the GitHub site. Make sure you're already signed into your account. If you haven't logged in yet, go ahead and enter your login credentials to access your account. Once you're all set and signed in, Look toward the upper right-hand corner of the interface. You'll notice your profile icon nestled there. Give that icon a click to unfold a drop-down menu filled with options. Now from this drop-down menu, we're going to direct our attention to Settings. You should see this option appear and once you do, click on it. Doing this will take you to a new page filled with various settings for customizing and managing your GitHub experience. On the left sidebar of this new page, you will spot another drop-down section termed Billing and Licensing. This is where things get crucial concerning subscriptions and payments. Click on this option to further narrow down our steps toward canceling the subscription we intend to put on hold. After you click on Billing and Licensing, you'll be greeted with a list of licensing options. From this list, select Licensing, and you'll arrive at the section that showcases your active subscriptions. Here lies the detailed information regarding the GitHub Copilot subscription that you may wish to cancel. At this point, you should be staring at the screen where your Copilot subscription is openly displayed. This is the moment of truth where the option to cancel your GitHub Copilot subscription becomes visible. If you're using a paid plan, the cancel button will be there for you to proceed with terminating the subscription. However, since I'm using a free plan, you'll notice that I don't have the cancel button available. If this is your first time canceling, it's possible that your screen may look a little different if you have a paid plan where the option to cancel is clearly present. And there you have it. Once you click that cancel button or encounter the solution if you're on a different plan, you'll successfully complete the process. I hope this guide has made it easy for you to navigate through GitHub's interface to reach the final step. If you followed these steps and options accurately, congratulations. You've successfully learned how to cancel your GitHub Copilot subscription. Be sure to verify the cancellation through a confirmation email or by double-checking your billing settings to ensure no future charges occur. Thank you for watching.